In today's episode, we're continuing our exploration of Linwood Hall, an extravagant Gilded Age mansion completed in 1900. If you haven't seen part one yet, we highly suggest going back and watching it as it provides the mansion's fascinating historical context. In part two, we'll be checking out the galleries that would have housed Widener's priceless collection of art, the bedrooms, and many more of the mansion's 110 rooms. Join us as we explore. This portion of today's video is sponsored by Ridge Wallet. The Ridge Wallet is redefining the wallet with its light and sleek construction and it's designed to easily fit in your front pocket. The Ridge Wallet is half the size of a traditional folding wallet and allows you to streamline your everyday carry but still hold up to 12 cards plus room for cash. It's also made with durable materials such as aluminum, titanium, and carbon fiber with over 30 color choices. And even though they're extremely durable, every wallet comes with a lifetime warranty. So this could be the last wallet you ever have to purchase. This is the wallet I've been using for over a year. Get 10% off your purchase with free worldwide shipping and a 45 day return policy using the link ridge.com slash proper people or click the link in the description. We'll resume our exploration right where we left off at the entrance of a mysterious tunnel branching off from the basement. Oh man, this is like the fucking catacombs. Really? <laughs> what the fuck? Where is this going? It keeps going. What if this goes all the way to the guest house? <laughs> it goes in that direction. I don't know. Right? Hold on. Which we should be going out the front of the house. That goes towards the post office. It's probably gonna be flooded. Let's just confirm it's flooded so we don't have to go down there. It's not flooded. It's not flooded. Are we actually gonna explore this? This is so weird. Fuck it, let's go. What the hell? What if this leads us to like a very sneaky entrance to get in and out of this place? Yeah. Is this a fork? Is this a fork? Hold up. What the fuck? It goes in every direction. Does nobody know about this? Because I haven't heard anyone mention this before. Me either. You keep going? These could be the pipes for the fountains. That's probably what I it think is. that's what these are, and this is just to service it. Yeah. Let's go all the way to the end. Oh, it's gonna be far. There's like... I mean, it's not gonna go off the property, is it? I don't know. It might. <laughs> I know that this whole town was owned by him. And what he, if it goes to the other mansion? <laughs> in like, no, he sold, when he, whatever, when he died, they sold all the parcels outside the fence, but outside the fence was also owned by him. Oh, really? Yes. Okay, that's flooded. Damn. Dude, this is a control panel kind of thing. It's yeah. made of marble too. It is. Wow. This whole thing is flooded. What the hell is this? It's like a cavern. Where does this go? Look at the stalactites. Here, go forward a little bit if you can. I want to see this. Look at the stalactites. It's a tank. It is. Perhaps. It's round. Oh, we're underneath the, the main fountain that's mm -hmm. out front. I think so. Yeah. So well, yeah, this is all just to service the water features. That statue for the main fountain was long gone. I don't see anything swimming around in here. There's gonna be some crazy monster down in the depths. 
this water's nasty. Very deep in this thing. This water is like straight black. Yeah, you can't see through it at all. No visibility. Let's head down. Okay, let's get out of here. We can check out the branches, but they're gonna be the same thing. Probably to the side fountains. Yeah, look at that. Even in this dingy basement, you got solid marble here. It's crazy. You can check out one of these side fountains. What's on the ceiling? Who knows what's up there? All right, it's pretty much where it ends. Yeah, it just goes up. I think the fountain would have been right there. Yeah, probably. Now I know why those windows were so dark, though, because they just lead into here. Hey, there's more this way, though. Are these, what are these? Old tanks. Water filter, it says yeah. on it. They look really old. Oh, here we go. Here's the sub basement. It's probably gonna be so gross back down yeah, here. Yeah, this is just uh, pipes and service stuff for the building. You can hear all the dripping. Yeah, I don't feel like going through that. All right. Still not tired of seeing this main entrance. Let's head up to the gallery. Screen carpets obviously added. Would have been solid marble stairs before. There would have been an art piece up there as well. And this would have been a skylight, but it is boarded over completely. So this would have been the main art gallery right here, yeah. right? Wow. These are old library cards from the 80s, I like the checkout slips. They turned the original art gallery into the library for the church. So these are all bookshelves. And the, the walls are stripped bare from where the gallery yeah, used to have all the really art. ornate in here. I mean, you can see some of the molding that's still there up top. It's really ornate. And this skylight would have let all the light in so you could see natural light lighting up the art. These doors are just massive. It's crazy how big everything is in here. This place is amazing. Okay, I know where we are right now. This is the bridge that connects the main mansion over to this other building. This crossover room is really cool though. You can see a lot of the paint flaking off from the ceiling. But it would have been really ornate up there. There's really not much paint left up there. It would have been really nice with these hand painted drawings on the walls. Wow, this room is messed up. But the ceiling is incredible. Wow. That is a lot of detail. What was this room? 
It was like an office sitting area. This room was actually another art gallery. This one designated for works by the Dutch painter Anthony Van Dyck. Yeah, everything is a face. What, there's more faces in here? Yeah, look, Where? all those little dots are faces. Oh shit, and every single one of those. I see oh, what you mean now. These are four faces, yeah. And then the whole thing in the middle is just By the time of his death in 1915, Peter A. B. Widener had amassed a massive collection of art. The walls of this gallery would have been crammed with hundreds of paintings, including some from masters such as Raphael, Rembrandt, Van Dyck, and Donatello. After inheriting the collection, Peter's son Joseph continued to improve it, selling off some works and replacing them with what he believed to be greater pieces. In 1939, Joseph donated the massive collection to the National Gallery of Art in Washington, D.C., helping to found the institution, along with donations from the estates of other business magnates. The works can still be viewed there today. These frames for the tapestries are still here. Tapestries are probably gone, but the cloth is draped over these lights they installed. Hey, there's a stairwell right here. That looks sketchy. <laughs> what happened to the stairs? They are all down there. That one? Um, possibly. Doesn't look that bad. <laughs> but what if the stair holding the ladder gives out? No, that's fine. Try to stay on the railing. I feel like I should put my camera away so I can have both hands on the railing. Ah, oh, fuck it. I'm gonna be honest, this thing looks like the most stable in the world after doing Hudson's. You did Hudson's Bridge? Of course. Oh shit, this is cool. Yeah, it's worth coming down here. This is the pool. You're doing that very nonchalantly it's compared to how I just did it. It's not that bad. Okay, but I was literally afraid of that last step up there giving out and the entire ladder just falling. So I was holding onto that railing for my life. Honestly, for a mansion this big, I'd expect a bigger pool. I mean... It's very deep though. Yeah. This grab rope going around the pool is the original. Really? From when the building was built. Wow. Which makes this, this rope 100, over 100 years old. That's crazy. How do you know that's original? That's what I read online. Oh, okay. But no, it definitely is. Look at the crispiness on yeah. this. The pool hasn't been used since the 40s. Wow. I wonder why they painted black over the windows. Because it's long abandoned. <laughs> probably painted this black on the church fire. The ceiling is marble. Just notice that. It's all marble. Yeah. The floor, the ceiling, the walls. Really old lockers.
time to go back across the fun bridge. I'm just waiting for that last step to give out. And I'm just going to fall all the way down. There's an old organ on its side here. This has a patented date. The patent date is 1896 on it. Wow. Do you think there would have been all pipes in here? Probably. They scrapped them all. There's a pipe laying right there on that little shelf. See it right in front of you? Yeah. They probably scrapped most of them. Probably all, went all the way up here. Just some chairs. What do you suppose these rooms were? Bedrooms. Could, be bathrooms. Could they have been bedrooms for guests? Maybe some of them, but here, this one's furnished. Oh, wow. This feels like the most original room here. Okay, maybe not original furniture. That bed frame doesn't look that old. But it's still left like a mansion and not like a school or a church. This stuff's really old. Oh, these yeah. fans are actually like famous. They're like one of the first electric appliances it's GE nice. ever made. Why do old mansions always have the creepiest paintings? Like they've got to be doing it on purpose. These look like horses from beyond the grave. Some more old furniture and lamps. And luggage. These are cool. Wow, this room feels like a time capsule. This is pretty amazing. All right, let's head up. The light's coming in decent now. Yeah. Wow. Oh wow, this hallway looks beautiful. This is where the sky. family family's bedrooms were. An old lady's lounge apparently. Well, oh, that's church shit. It's just a closet.
see the fireplace mantle stripped. Oh yeah. Sold that. I wonder what it was made out of. Probably, Probably wood marble. like the rest of the room. Or wood. The pillars over the main entrance. Oh wow. Have some amazing detail work on them. Looks like most of the bedrooms had shared bathrooms. Yeah. I forget what that's called. Jack and Jill. Jack and Jill. It's still really common. Wow, the ceiling in this bathroom is pretty nice. Paint is extra flaky in here. Yeah. It's nice. And this room is super stripped. Well, this was. Oh, but the fireplace is here. This was Widener's bedroom. This one right here? Yes. Oh, wow. How this do you was know? the master bedroom. Is that according to the floor plan thing you found? Yes, online? and this paint here underneath, right here, this is original. Oh, wow. From when the house was built. So this is when he died. They did a renovation in like the 20s. And then when the church took over, they stripped the renovations, revealing the original mm -hmm. underneath it. I wonder why his bedroom was the one all the way at the end. And it's not even any bigger than the other ones in this hall. And it had a shared bathroom. You really think the main bedroom that he was in would have had a shared bathroom? Okay. This is his bathroom over here. Okay. Look, this whole- Oh yeah, here's the bathroom. Yeah, this area right here had a door to the rest of the hallway. Okay. So it was very separate. That's the master bathroom. Yeah, I would have expected a little more from the it's master bathroom. It's been but changed, I think. That's like, the tub looks original. I think the concept of the master bedroom being like so much better than every bedroom yeah. in the house is kind of like a newer concept. That looks original too, or at least old, not, not something that church put in, this yeah. medicine cabinet. It's nice and gold and nice details. Ooh. This was his closet, I guess. Well, this, yeah, I'm assuming, but this also connects out to the hall. Right? Yeah, I mean, he could enter into yeah. his bedroom a variety of ways, I guess. I'm not sure what this was, but it wasn't a kitchen originally, but it is now. Probably another bedroom. Another one of these nice bathrooms. See the, this room has like a woman's hat and flowers. The ceiling's in really bad shape in this one. It looks like they cleaned up the floor though, cause there's not a whole pile of stuff there. They still have the mantle. This bedroom is probably for someone important too, because it's probably one of the biggest I've seen actually. And it also does have its own bathroom over here. So, someone important was in this room as well. Let's check out the opposite wing. But we'll do a lap around the uh, lobby on the way. The detail in this railing is crazy. It's designed to look like regular railing, but then it has like metal vines taking over. It's really interesting. 
Here's the elevator. Looks like the car is all the way in the basement. Even the inside of the elevator shaft that nobody sees is tiled. You might have seen it in that elevator. True, if it was like the cage kind. Yeah. It's old enough to be. Dude, we've only seen at least like 52 rooms. We got like half of them to go. <laughs> These are just the big rooms. <laughs> yeah, who's been counting? It's like pretty similar to the other side. Yeah, but less, I don't know, it's not as nice. Yeah. This bathroom's nice though. It's like a, an arch mirror above the, t the bathtub. Oh wow, that's really nice. Very old style of having separate hot and cold taps. People in the comments are gonna be like, they still do that in Europe. <laughs> this hallway only has one skylight for some reason, compared to like three in the other. Yeah. It's a baby blue room. No furniture really, but there is an interesting furnace. Sticking out. It's got like a whole thing on the side of like a deer and a log cabin. Interesting. These drawings are interesting to me because they're behind the mirror. That is weird. Yeah. The drawings keep going up behind the mirror, so it's not like somebody drew this on after it was broken. These are really old scribblings. Look, it says 1899 right here. Do you think wow. these are doodles from 1899? That would be incredible if they were. And they kind of look like an older this style looks like of drawing. A signature. Yeah. In 1899. Wow. Look, it's like really cool. They're really old doodles though, that's for sure. Wow. I don't know about the boobs. Yeah. Well, you think these would all be from around the same time. Like this looks old. Uh, actually, I think that might have fallen down and covered some stuff. Oh yeah, it slid down. And it does say 1899. And this looks pretty old looking, I don't know. Yeah, nobody draws like this anymore. It does like go off half Like his head. some vandalizing kids, they're not gonna do doodles like that. And it's very contained to just this. Yeah. I think those are some real old ones. There's another signature with 1899 right there. Same signature. Yeah. Interesting. This was a bathroom. Looks like one. Damn, listen to that wind. That's a nice fireplace. Oh yeah, I like those mirrored doors over there. Look above the doors in this room. Those are full on paintings. They look 3D again. Same kind not. of style. Makes the room look like it goes on forever. Yeah, no Servant staircase. Still nicer than 99% of other <laughs> yeah. staircases. Whew, it's 
chilly in the breeze. It goes up even more. Here's the top of that glass. Yeah, that's kind of strange. Yeah. Because it doesn't look great from this angle once you're up here. Yeah. But maybe they didn't care about the looks up here as much. No. And only it's really only the servant staircase that connects up here. Yeah. So something with that. And then whatever these storage. It's always very green. It's fall mint. Rooms are very decayed. Mm -hmm. These are much smaller, like extra rooms, I guess. Empty. What would you do with all these rooms? I like, know. if you're living in this place, I think like the idea is that you would have like huge parties and like invite your guests to stay. Like, over. I would run out of ideas yeah. to make. Like, what would you make these rooms? <laughs> You can't have a hundred bedrooms. No, but I think that's the idea. Yeah. You should have a zillion spare bedrooms so you can just be like yeah. an entertainer and have just everybody house over. everyone, yeah. With like huge it's parties, like Great Gatsby style. <laughs> yeah. And then a dead end. Yeah. It's looking very crammed up here. Okay, now these definitely seem like servants' quarters. This is above the gallery. All of the skylights up there have been wow. blocked off. The only light coming in is just whatever crack there is. Yeah, where it's broken. Is this um great thing here, like a shutter? I think it was. So you can open and close the light. Yeah, because there's the chain on the side. That's what it is. You can open and close the light. That's pretty cool. Yeah, these are very small rooms. I bet you these were for servants. Do these count towards the 110 rooms? I would assume so. They are rooms. That would make sense how they got to that number then. A room is a room. And these are small ones. There's some furniture. These bed frames look pretty old. That does look pretty old. Not super ornate, so it would have just been a servant's bed. Wow, what is this little room? It's very short. Yeah, it's like an intermediate floor. A lot of paper. A big storage room. Old Newsweek magazine. Palestine Prophecy, what are these? Oh, these are like film slides. This little center table thing looks nice too. Oh, it's a railing that was filled in. Yeah. So this would have looked down on something, I believe. Oh, this is above the kitchen, right? Yes, this yeah. is above the there kitchen. There would have been, like, you could go all the way through. Yeah. Down to the kitchen, probably. Look, original life fixture up there for the kitchen as well. Oh, yeah. Huh. This is cool. And then they tiled over on the other side. So these are probably all kitchen cabinets. Like yes. the second floor kitchen cabinets. Yeah. That way if they're entertaining like a large amount of people, <laughs> they'd have to put them somewhere. Yeah. You're all right. All the plates and stuff. That's what this was. Yeah. That's crazy. The Eisenhower era, 1956. A lot of these are documents from the church, religious stuff. 1956 Newsweek, The Atom at Work. How safe, how soon? These are really old fridges, I think, right? Um, I don't know. They they're don't not, seem insulated. They're not insulated. They're just cabinets. Just cabinets, I guess. They look kind of like morgue doors when they're closed. Yeah. 
The way they're hand painted is pretty cool. Yeah. This could have been food storage. Pantry? Yeah. Maybe. They all had a lock on and a key, so I don't know. Yeah, who knows? Yeah, I could stay in this building forever. There is much more light coming in. It looks really nice now. Perfect amount of light for our cinematics. Finally time for us to head out. I'm not sure if we saw every single one of the 109 or 110 rooms that there are here, but I think we got pretty close. But yeah, this place will definitely be one that I remember for the rest of my life. It really leaves an impression. Thank you.